to start here. And I'm talking about from like 12 years old, having them teach me the basics of basketball. You know, I was an athlete, but I never had played on a team. I didn't really do AAU growing up and stuff like that. So they taught me the fundamentals of basketball. <laughs> I was eight years old when I started coming here. After a couple of years of swimming, you know, it kind of just started to get old to me. And one of the days I was in here waiting for my ride to be picked up, I met a couple guys that were always in here and they always see me waiting there for a ride. Same time, every night, waiting for my ride back from practice. And, you know, a couple of them came up to me and asked if I play basketball. And through meeting them, they put me onto the game of basketball. And I didn't know it immediately, but I slowly but surely came to, that was my life. Basketball ended up becoming my life because of those guys. All of a sudden I looked and here I was in high school and I would look up in the stands at my thousand point game. I'm about to score a thousand points and break this record, this major record. And here are all these guys that knew me when I was 12 standing in the stands cheering me on. You know, they were proud of me. And because not only did they watch me grow up into a great athlete, but I was happy I could make them proud because they taught me the game, you know? If I come here with a couple friends to play pickup, there'll still be maybe one or two kids that are just getting picked up and never fails. One of them will look in the gym and see me playing and they'll say, hi Amy, so excited to see me. And they kind of just sit there and watch. They watch people go back and forth and it's such a familiar feeling to me because I remember being in their position, looking in here, seeing those grown men playing, you know, that I, I came to know and love and I would, just, I would just love watching them. I could sit there for hours and just watch them go back and forth. And when I first started playing with them, they started by, you know, just shooting around with me and showing me the different things. But when they, first time they were going to have me in a game, I was so nervous because, not that I didn't think I could do it, but I didn't want to let them down. You know what I mean? Think of it, these guys were like all my older brothers, and I just didn't want to let them down, you know? And they would tell me the same thing. Here we are running pickup back and forth with all these other grown men. And like I said, I'm the smallest one on the court, and I just want to be able to help some way. And they'll still to this day bring this up, but they would say, Haley, go spot up in the corner, go spot up in the corner. And I'd run over, I'd be like, okay, okay. And I would just sit there and wait for my shot. And then when they knew, they would throw me the ball over in the corner and I would knock it down from about right here. And um, every time it was the best feeling, they'd all come over, rub my head, give me high fives. They looked at me like a little sister and that was so important to me that I felt like, even if I missed the shot, I, I didn't think they'd get mad at me, you know what I mean? And they just, I feel like they loved me as much as I loved them. Yeah, well, originally I didn't think, oh, I want to go down to the YMCA to work so I can be around the kids, but really, I couldn't get away from this place. Like I said, no matter how old I get, if I get some free time, I want to come down here and shoot around. I want to play pickup still when I have a couple hours off at night. And um, then I met some of the kids, you know, and I, I started coaching on the weekends or helping out with the preschool, doing some volunteer hours, and just being around them and getting that feeling, I and mean, that is why I'm here. When I'm with these kids and, I, and I'm showing them different things and different drills, my mind cannot help but go back to those days where I was in their position. I know exactly how they feel. They don't want to let me down. They want to they wanna do the best they can out here. So I am like very clear with them when I tell them, you know, if you miss a shot, it's not a big deal. You know, when you're here with me, it's about getting better. Every day we're getting better, we're getting better. Like I started right where you guys are. You know what I mean? And um, I think it calms them down. It, it puts ease at, for them, but for me, it's just so rewarding to be able to, when they are doing something good or when they can do a drill or dribble the ball with two hands, you know what I mean, like two balls at one time, to be able to see them complete something like that makes me so happy because I know, just like those guys did for me, like I'm doing something, I'm helping them because maybe they don't have an older sister or an older brother at home, and if I can be that person here for them, like I had, that's more than enough. Uh, good work today, fantastic.